And here we are in Cyber Lounge, uh, beginning to d discuss one of the questions that we are going to work on in the next few weeks. Um, and in, in this case, this, this is a question that Steve has um, uh, is ready to propose. So Steve, what is the question for us? The question is, can people hold meetings in the metaverse and make them work like meetings in real life? <laughs> well, what are we doing right now? Yeah. Well, there you go. That kind of well, answered it. So the answer is yes. <laughs> but before we say yes, we need to make clear that we are all in different physical spaces. Yeah. Uh, because because we can say yes, but we need to let people know where we are yeah. and the distance between us. Well, we don't. Yeah. I, I don't even know how far I am from Germany, but Dieter's in Germany, yeah. and I, I, I'm, right. I'm I'm some long distance away, thousands, certain number of thousands, and of course you can't tell, you can't notice any effect at all, um, because of course we're working on the internet. Well, the yeah, server he, for this region is in Germany, and so is the server for no, the voice part. No, no, the, no. The, the, the voice server is in Germany, but uh, the the web server is located in the U.S. Oh, okay. Kind of like my servers. And, okay, yeah. and, that makes sense. And now, we, we, there would be, a, in this form of meeting, uh, there would be a limit to the number of people we can have. And I'm talking here, we're talking here about a meeting where people can can talk with each other about a, a, a subject that they want to come to some sort of closure on. And in, in, uh, in this case, um, the, um, the meeting itself, we don't know exactly how many people could be on uh, in the meeting in, in total, to, total number. However, we do know that it, the number it would at least be over 20. And, uh, right. Actually, yeah, 40 would actually be okay, yeah. but then you get into a thing of, can you put 40 people in one room and come to an end result? Well, no, you can't. Uh, so, 40, yeah. 40, the, it, you, if, you, if you have 40 people, or even if you have 20 people, you don't have a meeting, you, you have a crowd. And they will all... Yeah, you have a presentation is what you have. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and uh, well, you might say you have an audience... And all of those, all of those things are fine, but that's not what we're talking about now. We are talking about people who interact and um, talk with each other about a subject, and will provide. Um, well, what we're doing is um, there are four of us, and we're all very well familiar with the metaverse, and we've been in it for years. Uh, Dieter has programmed this this place, the software. Um, he programmed the software that create, creates this place. And uh, all, all of us, in any case, have been uh, quite active. So we, we know a lot about uh, the, the experience of using the virtual worlds. So, well, yeah, the, we've kind of come to a thing where a lot of the things, like I get questions all the time from people, how many people can I put in a region, you know, can you put in 200, you know, for a class? And I says, uh, 200's all well and good, but are those 200 going to learn anything? No. You know, you if you're going to have a well, class, you get into the whole physical thing of if you put that many people together, there needs to be an interaction amongst them. So smaller class sizes are better. Yeah. And that goes in real life and in virtual worlds. Yeah. Uh, a teacher is not going to effectively teach to 200 or 100 at a time. Yeah. Well, so I, I, I want it. I, I, I recommend if you're going to have teach 200 people, show them a video. Make a good video. Spend considerable effort at making a qui high-quality video and show it to them. Or actually, perhaps, if you, if you have an hour's worth of, some, of, of content, you probably ought to break it up into... Um, uh, sections of five or ten minutes. Uh, Jamie, you were going to say something. I was just going to mention to everybody, we, we talked about the distance that we're, we're apart from each other. Selby and I are in Texas, Dieter's in Germany, and Steve, where are you? I'm in Arizona. 
Okay, so let me just mention to folks that might be potentially using this for me platform. You notice as we speak, there's no lag. Uh, there's absolutely no lag. There's nothing going on. Uh, it's like we're sitting in the room together, and that's the point with uh, with these platforms. We're on the web. This is a web page. All you have to do is have a link to get in here. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, and, and you have the ability to sit and talk with people around the world. And Dieter is proof of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could you could pace around in the room if you want. I do that on occasion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't have to sit, but you know yeah. you can. But you're all together. There's a real feeling of us all being in the same room together. Yeah. Because right. we're seeing us. Yeah. The other thing is you don't need to have a headset. You can just use it right on any old regular computer or tablet or yeah, even your cell phone while you're uh, stuck in traffic on the way in. Yeah. Uh, and the happens, yeah. just yeah. just don't do it while you're driving. Uh, no, <laughs> caution, right. caution. Uh, but yeah, the, this is uh, the thing about a virtual world is is here you are in this room, and uh, you have that real feeling that you are actually in that room, even though physically you are actually not. And uh, it's interesting how the human brain puts that together. And uh, so a virtual meeting, when it comes to the feeling of being together and working together, uh, can be very close to a real meeting, mm -hmm. especially if you can share your things, like your computer screens, you can share documents, uh, you can uh, share videos, that kind of stuff like you would in kind of like a boardroom or a meeting room. Mm -hmm. All of that you can do inside of Imworlds really easily. Yeah. So this is something where the all these things were built in there. So for a business person, having a disparate collection of people in places all over the world you could have a regular meeting every morning with your people in all these different regions and uh it wouldn't there no traveling no hassles they just have to log into the web page that is that region or that world yeah well i'll, I'll bring in another question uh, equally absurd can you make a video of this well actually that's what we're doing right now um and therefore, yep. if you had a meeting, for example, a, a morning meeting, uh, not only could you carry out the morning meeting, but the um, high-level supervisor, boss, or whatever, could also review the meeting at a later time because he's not going to come in that early. That's true. Uh, you can record them. You can uh, you could edit them after you record them because it's just a video at that point. You yep. could put it up on a, a private YouTube channel for other people that couldn't get there. Yep. Uh, there's all kinds of – you could stream it to uh, – you could do a presentation and do your presentation in your virtual meeting room and stream it to thousands of people all over the world at once if you so desire. Yeah, well, and, and in fact, you can actually uh, get a transcript of, of the voice because there's, there's, the technology is easily available. In fact, it's available on YouTube uh, that will take the, take the voice recording and translate it into, into text fairly accurately. Yeah, you'll have to do some fixing, but not a lot. Yeah. That's only one thing. I think in the near future, you will also be able not only to... Uh, convert voice to, to text, but also translate voices or uh, so languages on the fly. Mm -hmm. So it means you have a simultaneous translation by simply done by an AI. Yeah. Well, and that you, you said in the future, you would be able to do it on the fly. But even right now, you can do it just with a little delay. If, because once you get the English translation, uh, for yeah, it would, it would have a few seconds of delay, yes, but technically it would be already possible. Yes. Yeah, so the, there, yeah. So it's, um, yeah, this is, this is where people, uh, when they're looking into things like this, kind of talk to the people uh, that have the virtual world, and they'll tell you all the things that they can do. And a good virtual world company will... Uh, 
run you through what it does and even possibly add some feature that you need. Mm -hmm. Uh, because that's, that's part of the business, you know, at M worlds, we do that. We, uh, if you have a certain feature that we don't have, uh, we're more than willing. If we can do it, uh, we'll do it. The, and of course, the, the technology, um, the, the technology that we already have um, is is available um, as to essentially to support a worldwide company. So even if you had a small company, you could really nevertheless have a, provide world worldwide services. Um, as for example, we are in effect doing right now. We're not. We're providing our own worldwide services. Um, um, you using uh, well, we're, we'll be using YouTube for uh, transmission. Now, the other thing is, is uh, this can also be taken because it is essentially a web page. It can be taken and put onto your become a part of one of your web page. Like if you have a company web page, mm -hmm. uh, we can put that right in there so that people don't even have to actually click out of it. Uh, they can just go right into M worlds, right from your page. It's thing called an iframe and it's, uh, you'll have it one click bang. You're in there. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, do we have any further comments on this? I think we've done pretty well. I, well, the one thing I will bring up is is using a virtual world can save you tons of money. You get rid of all the issues that have to do with brick and mortar. You get mm -hmm. to get get you get to get rid of all the traveling issues and the other expenses like food and rental cars and all those things. You uh, don't have to worry about like with Zoom with people running around behind you or your dog coming up to lick you in the face. Mm -hmm. Or are you looking bored while you're waiting for something to happen? Uh, here, you're an avatar, and you can look like whatever you want to. Uh, in our world, it is a complete avatar, not a half an avatar. And so you look like a real person, which helps the whole feeling like you're there together. Thing. Which we should specify that we do have the ability to do video. Yeah, we do have the capability to make video. I think that's what you said, said Jamie. No, I mean, if you want to see somebody's face, we can do that. Yeah, no, that's... yeah, yeah. You can you you, you, uh, you can bring the person's own personal webcam video view in if you want if you actually want to see the face. Yeah, that's true. We can do. We can bring video from outside uh, into uh, into the world on a big screen if you want to do that. So somebody could present from their office or home and show you physical objects and stuff like that. Like if you're putting together a new uh, collection of clothing or something, you could actually have models showing it uh, right on the big video screen. Yeah, and of course, one of the things, one reason why you might need to bring in a video is that uh, the uh, you, you for some purposes you need to have a very positive ID uh, identification of the person, and the way you get a positive identification is you should you bring the video of the person's face, and uh, that's pretty well generally accepted. Well, yeah, in a in an HR situation. Yep. If you're wanting to hire somebody, uh, you could do a uh, avatar to avatar, but also video to video call, so that you can each see each other inside the world. Uh, that way, you get to actually look this person in the eyes, so to speak, and kind of have a good idea of what you're getting. It, I think it would really improve the hiring process in a lot of ways. Well, in a lot of ways, because actually you, you, you could interview people if you wanted to, you, you could interview people yeah, quite easily at very, no, very low cost. Uh, companies for high, 
for high cost per employee, they may fly a person in for an interview. Um, but you don't have to fly anybody in for an interview if you're using this technology. Well, that's that's true. And there is a pile of other features that Imworld has that uh, we're not even talking about at this point. Uh, the key okay. would be to get a hold of us at imworlds.com, I-M-M-W-O-R-L-D-S.com, uh, and... We can show you by the web page, and if you want to contact us, the information is there to that uh, to that end too. So give us a call or send us an email, and we'd love to talk to you and show you what we've got. Ah, very good. That's a good closing note. Um, okay, I'll close the video at this point.